Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Uh, today we uh, decide to change the time and come early. Uh, supposedly we will be live two hours from now, but I decide to go very early. Uh, today our topic is about what is Islam. You know, uh, if you search on the internet, you will find like a billion videos and the Muhammadan, they try to explain to you, supposedly, uh, what is Islam. Uh, but in reality, none of them even knows, really, what he is talking about, not a single one. And we can prove it for you very easy. This is an example, and you know, I, and I find the most weirdo, stupid ones, is the one who they are convert, and they try to explain to you what Islam is. It's not the Muslims, it's those who convert. Uh, but, you know, if you listen to him, he is just a copy of somebody. He is a Muslim by birth. Uh, you know, you notice that all Muslims, they have the same answer, the same question, the same objection, the same acceptance. It's copy-based. So what is Islam? Let us listen to this uh, poor man and see what Islam is about. Eternal, all-knowing, all-powerful creator that brought all of creation as we know it into existence. We refer to this creator as Allah. And Allah has all of the greatest names and attributes. The true reality of Allah is beyond human comprehension because he is completely perfect and absolutely unique in all of his attributes. <laughs> you know, he's very good. What, well, you know, just, just to show you the stupidity, he is trying to tell us who is Allah. And now he just said that because he's perfect, it's beyond your comprehension. What does that mean? I mean, that, that's the most stupid statement ever. We, we, the question is, the video title is, Who is Allah? What he is telling us, he is describing things about this Allah, claiming that he is perfect. And because he's perfect, you cannot comprehend. I'm not sure how that works. You see, are you saying to me that the perfect Allah could not give you a perfect explanation of himself? Are you saying to me, Muhammadan, that your perfect God could not give a simple sentence to explain himself? So why you brag about the Quran? So Allah wrote the whole book to Muhammad, and yet he failed to make you understand who is Allah? So he's a perfect, okay? But we can debunk that in two seconds. Is the Quran perfect? The Quran is just a stupid book, fairy tale stories, sunset in murky water, the Muslims try to fix it. You see, if we go right now to the Quran, what the Muslims they want or do to fix the perfect word of Allah. Remember, Allah is perfect. When you say perfect, Allah should not say something stupid, right? I mean, he is perfect. So it doesn't make sense that he is perfect, but he say, and he makes stupid book. If we type there, uh, oops, mistype. Sorry, chapter 18, verse number 86. It says that Allah speaking, the Jews they came to Muhammad and they, you know, they tricked him as usual. Muhammad is a stupid donkey, the Jews they want to make fun of him as usual. That's why he hid them to death. So they said to him, Prophet Muhammad, can you tell us the name of the Prophet Zulqarnayn? Can you tell us, sorry, the, the story of the Prophet Zulqarnayn? The stupid Muhammad, he believed them that he is a prophet. He could not answer them right away, so he said, I will ask Allah. It took him a few weeks, and then he came with this. Now look at this. That this remember, this is the perfect Allah speaking. If you go back in a few verses, you will see, they are asking thee about... Uh, Zulqarnayn. First of all, I mean, have you ever heard of a god you do not know the name of the guy? Who is who, who, Zulqarnayn? Is not a name. Zul in Arabic is like if if somebody have a car. You say uh, uh, the one with the car. If somebody have a mole. You say the one with the mole. Uh, somebody have a, uh, let us say uh, uh, he he have something. You know. So you use Zul to make it attached to the person. So 
the Qurnayn is the person with the two horn. Okay, who is this? Have you ever heard of a person with two horn? Is that for real? So, nowhere it mentions who is he. Look how perfect the story is. Secondly, they are asking you about the Qurnayn. Say, I will recite to you something of his history. So, who can recite the story better than Allah? Nobody. Because this is history preserved by Allah. Perfect history. And now Allah starts telling us that this man he established, he Allah established for him the way. So Zulqarnayn, which is Alexander the Great, he was a, a, a prophet of Allah, sent by Allah, and Allah established for him every mean, which means he supported him. We gave him the mean of everything. So he fell away until he reached the sitting place of the sun. See the perfect Quran? The perfect Quran telling us a perfect story that the sun, it has a sitting place. And this man, he kept going, kept going, kept going until he found where the sun set. But all of us, we knew that this is stupid because there is no sitting place for a sun and only donkeys will believe in that. So if the Quran is made by the perfect Allah, then Allah, he must should make a perfect Quran. But stupid Quran and stupid and perfect Allah does not make sense, right? Uh, and then here it says, and he found it sitting in a spring of uh, 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 boiling water. Now, what the Muslims, you see, remember, Allah is perfect. And the Quran is perfect, according to Muslims. So what the Muslims, they say about this verse, they say, no, no, no. What the Quran is saying, that the sun appear to Zulqarnayn, it's set in murky water, murky uh, uh, boiling water. So as long as Allah is perfect and Quran is perfect, so why we, are, we have to add a peer to fix it and to mislead people? The story in front of us, there is no appear, there is no disappear, there is no such thing. Look at this uh, guy, Waqas. He is saying, I don't allow you. You are an idiot. I mean, I show you the verse saying abrogated in front of you, and you could not see in Waqas. You do not know your religion. You do not know how to read the verse. You cannot answer any question, and you are you want me to talk to, to you? want to talk to me? Okay, okay, Waqas. I will open Skype just for you. Guys, Waqas, he is desperate. Waqas, he can solve the problem and tell us who is Allah. And Waqas, remember. We want to, we will start with you where we stop. All right? So I will open Skype for Waqas. Okay, let me find you. I blocked you because you are a kid. Did you have your parents with you? Waqas? Or are you alone? I want you to get permission from your mom before you call me. Because I don't want to be responsible for what will happen to you. Where is the Skype sitting? Let me see. What was your name, Waqas? At the, uh, post, post your name. Post your name. That will save me from looking for it. Post your account in Skype. So I will call you. Just for, you know, for comedy. So, so the sitting place of the sun is found. And so Qurnayn found it. But there's no way God who is perfect, he will say such a stupid story. And then he found it sitting in a, in a, a boiling uh, spring. Zakir uh, Naik, he says, But then the Tar. This is the Thunder Kurnain. He's saying that the Thunder is in the murky water. But the brother, this is how it appeared to him. Okay, hold on. He said, If you go to the ocean, in the ocean, you see the Thunder in the ocean. Abdul, watch all, what, what, what? What ocean? First of all, it doesn't say ocean. It says, A spring of boiling water. Spring. Spring. There's no ocean. So this is how they try to manipulate the stupid Allah who claimed that, they, that he is perfect. If Allah is perfect, did he make a mistake? He wanted to say ocean, but he made, a, made it a spring? Is a spring is the same as an ocean? And how the sun can go in a spring anyway? And how the sun appear to be in a spring? Obviously, there is nothing about appearance and nothing about uh, ocean. So what the Muhammadan they do, hey, Waqas, where is your account? Send me, send me, type your account again because I need to unblock you. Waqas, you were excited a second ago. 
put for me your account in Skype here. So I will find you. All right? Just for a comedy. So as you see, the perfect Allah, the guy in the video saying, us, Allah is perfect and you cannot comprehend it. But how in the world this person is perfect and he says such a stupid dummy thing? If you remember, Abdul's, they decided to explain to us, they said, when he said he found it, uh, he is not reporting a find. Hmm? It says, he found it. Go right now to any dictionary. What found mean? Does it say it appeared to him? All Muslim translation, and for me, I do not need translation. His name is Wiki. Really? This is his name? Man, sounds like a girly name. Okay, hold on. Let me find you. Hey guys, how many of you think that Waqas is going to tell us who is Allah? Do you think he will do it? Who want a bet? Hey Sheikh uh, uh, Omad, how are you doing, man? I did not see you for long. Good to see you, brother. Let me search for. Wiki. This guy, he think really he's like, you know, he can. <laughs> Wiki. Uh, oh. There's a space, one nine eight seven. There is a space between them. I could not find it. Maybe there's no space. Let me take the space off. Uh, is the name there is Ahmed? Is that correct? Okay, I just send you hi, uh, but I don't think this is the same name. It says Germany. You are in Germany, Wakas, or in Pakistan? Text me back if the uh, the one I text is you. Anyway, so the perfect Allah could not write a perfect book. And the book is full of stupid stories. And not to forget the Gog and Magog, and he found where the sun rise, and etc. But remember, the question is who is Allah? You see, Allah is perfect, Allah is perfect. Allah is tall, Allah is short. Allah is smart, Allah is. This is not who is Allah. We want to know who is Allah. Muslims don't know. They give you just attribute from the wind. And those attributes cannot even fit for him. Because simply, when you say perfect, perfect compared to whom? What, you know, what the word perfect mean? And Allah obviously cannot be perfect. Why? You know, if you remember, we made a video just uh, two days ago about Allah. Uh, he will write Quran better than the Quran. So if the Quran can be written better than the Quran, then the Quran is not perfect. One of the Muslims, he said in my previous video, he said, yes, Allah can write better Quran. But how Allah can write better Quran than the Quran of Allah? Here we will find the Siddhi Quran saying, Any, like, uh, uh, we make Quran, uh, any verses we abrogate or we cause to be forgotten, we make something better or similar. Let us see. Chapter 2, verse 106. Nothing of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we bring one better or similar. 
was Allah perfect when he wrote the first Quran? And Allah will be perfect in the coming Quran? What is the perfection of Allah? Right? Let me see, this guy is not answering back. Uh, what cause did you text me? I texted you. I didn't see you answering. Let me try to, to look for your name in the block list. I hope I will have patience with your stupidity. You know, sometimes you have limited patience with someone so stupid. And I have to admit, I mean, this waqas is so dumb. I'm not insulting you, by the way. I'm just, I mean, dumb. That means you have a rank. You see the hadith, there's the, there's a weak, there's the if, uh, Hassan, you know, you are just dumb. Let us see. Blocked contact. Let us go. Blocked. Wiki, here we go. 1987. Okay. Uh, Wiki, uh, text me. I found your name. Here we go. Hello? 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 Yes, Waqas, do you hear me? All right, can you speak, lo can you speak louder, please? For some reason, oh, I don't hear you okay. very good. Huh? Now oh, it's okay. Uh, guys, do you hear me good? Hear him good or only me? I don't know for some reason. I'm... Go ahead, I'm talk. Talking with you. Huh? Okay. So today I have also a question on Christianity. Here we go. Don't change topic. Me. Don't change topic. Here we go. We start. So was Allah <laughs> was Allah writing? Because the question is, who is Allah? Why are you are laughing? Are you are you are you making fun of Allah? I'm making fun of your sense. Okay. But it's well, okay. Well, no problem. So you can make make it. Where uh, you find that Allah writes? Allah what? Where do you find that Allah writes? Right. By himself. Writes? Yeah, you said that Allah writes. Okay, hold on. People they are saying your voice is not heard, not only me. So I need to change. Uh, okay, speak now, speak more. Okay, so I want to say that how do you know that Allah writes with his hands? Allah writes? I don't understand. Right. Allah write Quran with his, with his hands. How do you? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, how I do that? That's very easy. So are you sure he did not? Yes, of course. No, I'm because not. Because I, uh, because if you want to, wait, wait. If you want to understand the Quran, Hmm. Then you must know the hadith. There is okay. one hadith, say hadith. I will I will give you the reference. Okay, in hold on. Which Allah says, Allah says, I command the pen and he writes. Okay. A a pen writes. Okay, so is that is that mean that the one who wrote the Quran is not Allah? That's written by Allah, but he commands. It's not a, written by Okay, okay hold on. Did Allah write the, did, did, did Allah write the Torah by his hand? No, everything he just command. All right. If I show you that Allah he wrote the Torah by his hand, what you would do? First of all, 
uh, you give the answer Don't about tell me Quran first because of all, you are claiming that Quran. No, no, you see, you, you just, know the hadith. You just, show, you, just you just showed everybody. Jumping, it, you know, I know Quran all the hadith. Talk. Listen, listen, I know all the hadith. Your God, Allah, the first thing He created, He created the pen, and He told the pen to read, to to write. We know that story, but you stupid idiot. According to your prophet, that the Allah He wrote the Torah by His hand, and now you are saying to me. You don't like me to say Allah write the Quran by his hand. That means the Torah is more favorite to Allah than the Quran. Do you agree? All the uh, commandments from Allah, they are favorite to him because these were the commandments from Allah. No, this is I'm asking you. So why Allah did not write the Quran by his hand, but he wrote the Torah by his hand? That's your claim, brother. That's not our claim. If, if this is a claim is true, what you would do? We have to understand, if we if we want to understand something, then we have to uh, put together all things. Then we can easily understand. And uh, This is another question. What you will do if Allah wrote the Torah by his hand, but he refused to, read, to write the Torah by, by his, in, uh, the Quran by his hand? In Quran, Allah says, I write... Uh, I write uh, the book, the Quran. But in other hands, then when Hazrat Prophet Muhammad explained us in Hadith, he told us this is a metaphoric statement. Actually, he, he didn't write from his hand. Okay, hold on, hold on. He commanded. It's, it's metaphorical. And if someone right? commanded it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then, if, hold in on, a way, we can say on, that hold, he writes. Hold on, hold on. Let us see if we can find this hadith here. For example, I can give you the example. Don't don't talk, don't talk. Wait. We will show you the hadith. No, no, I, I can give you the example. No, don't give me example. Today, I will give you the example. Leave the example. Today, leave, some author leave, of a book. leave the example for me. Wait, wait. So now everybody heard you saying Allah did not try the Torah by his hand. This is metaphorical, correct? Yes, of course. All right. Uh, are you willing to show me the reference? I already, I, I can give you the reference of Quran. No, no, no. D don't tell me. The Quran says in the Quran, Quran is the final revelation of uh, uh, Allah. Uh, uh, Allah in the Quran, he said, he was joking when he said he wrote the Torah by his hand. And do you know that uh, in Hebrew, Don't change the topic. Listen, here, listen, Waqas. I hang up on you many times because you, you always are use the word Allah Allah in Hold Hebrew on. language stupid, also stupid. Allah. Listen, listen, don't change the topic. Allah don't change the topic. Abdul, language. Abdul, you have a Your fight. Of... Name Stop. Is Allah. Don't change the in topic. Hebrew language also. Don't change the topic. I have a hadith in front of you and you need to give me the hadith. It says it's metaphorical. Are you dare to shut up? Are you dare to talk shut up, on shut up, Christianity? Shut up, shut up, don't change the topic. Are you dare to Here talk go. on Christianity? Shut up. Don't change the topic. It's in front of Shut up. It's you in front of you. It's in front of you. Allah, he wrote the Torah by his hand. Read it. I'm from Skype. Wait. <clears throat> mute, mute you too, mute you. Mute you too. Prophet said Moses argued. No, with how Adam many how many said, hadith you want me to show you? Wait a minute. I know this. <laughs> you are the one who got the people out of paradise. Hmm. Okay. Oh Adam, please can you stop? Read. So I can read. One okay. of these. All right. I heard Abu Huraira narrating that the Prophet said Adam and Musa debated. And Musa said to him, O oh Adam, you are our father, but have deprived us and caused us to be expelled from paradise because of your sin. Adam said to him, O oh Musa, Allah chose you to speak with, and he wrote the Torah for you with his own hands. Are you blaming me for something which Allah decreed for me 40 years before he created me? Thus, Adam won the argument with Musa. 
further on. I want to read this further on. Thus, okay. Adam won the argument. Okay. Further on, now, I want now, to. Now, shut up and show me the hadith it says. No, no, shut up no, no. and show me the hadith it says. This is was a metaphorical. Wait a minute. First of all, shut these up. hadiths have so many. Shut up. Things. Shut up. No. Give no, me. that's not how. That's Get, not. See, this, you see why uh, I hang up on you? No, no. You have, you have to prove it to you me. Just, this is metaphorical. Okay. I will prove it. I will prove it. First mm. of all, these all hadiths I will read. Mm. Then we can understand all the context. No, no, don't tell me a counter. You see, you said to me, there's a hadith that says the Prophet said this metaphorical. Give me the hadith. Okay, I, I will give you the hadith of Quran. Read the Quran, you stupid. A Quran is a hadith now. Listen, give me the Quran. No, okay, oh, no, pro okay, no problem. No which problem. Hadith, which tells us that how okay, Quran okay, writes. Okay, okay, how okay. How Allah writes. It's a general <laughs> general statement. <laughs> it's a general statement. Dude, you're okay. stupid. You okay, see? I will give you the you hadith. See? Listen, that don't, will don't prove make me hang up on you. God, how God writes. Don't make that me hang up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a general statement. Did Allah create Adam by his hands too or not? Allah says to uh, make us understand. Listen to the question, Abdul. Don't, don't skip. Don't, don't skip. Did Allah create Adam by his hand? Yes or no? Uh, if you are uh, saying uh, uh, like in this world we use our hands, no. This is another question. You Either you say yes or no. Did Allah create Adam by his hands? How we use our hands to make something or to do something, we use our hands. These physical hands. But for there, that's not like in this world. We don't know. Hmm. So what is the answer now? It did not? Is the answer did not? Yes, of course. If you okay. are, uh, do you see, uh, do you you see are why, comparing it, do you see why I hang up on not. you? Do you see why I hang up on you? You are the most if stupid you are idiot this kid. World with God, listen, listen. Not. If there is one Muslim in the world if agree you with you, with you, don't call me, man. I have no time. I have no time for kids. You are just I a stupid. No, we don't accept a, a, an answer. Do you have somebody to support your answer? But why you jump here and there? First, just shut up. We don't have time for kids here. When you say, you see, when you are a kid, you can say anything you want, anything. You can say no, you can say yes, you can say uh, uh, whatever. Do you see why I block you? I can get you busted in two seconds, you donkey. We have a thousand videos made by Muslim sheikhs saying Allah created three things by his hands. Adam and the Torah and he planted a tree. <laughs> and then this idiot, actually four, four, some hadith says four. And then he this idiot, he says to me, you know, they don't, you know, where? You know, actually, you know what? Let me see if I can find it in English. Hold on. Allah, I will type in Google, peace be upon him. Allah created four things using his hand. <laughs> Here we go, I found it. Donkey, you are just a certified donkey. You know, and I don't have time for kids. You see, when you speak to a little kid, someone like me will struggle with him because I can talk to this kid. How in the world I can go down to his level? Those people do not know anything about the religion. Allah may be glorified and the exalted he created Adam with his hand and breathed into him his soul and he created him. Allah also created other cre uh, created uh, uh, beings such as the angel and the jinn and other uh, uh, being with his hands. Did he breathe into them soul created com uh, com command for him? This is the question. So now we go down. All the praise be to Allah. <laughs> Remember, I asked him.
that he created Allah, Adam with his hand. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you read the whole in front of you, those all all hadith support that yes, Allah He wrote He He, he you know He used His hands in those items. Uh, uh, here it says, and He planted. Look, and He planted the Garden of Eden with His hands. Do you see it? So not only he wrote the Torah by his hand and created Adam by his hand, he planted all the Garden of Eden, which is a stone, Muhammad is copying even the name from our books, by his hand. But this donkey, he says, no, so what I will do? What we will do? How you can talk to such people? We have no time for kids, so don't ever try to call me. You see, I, I said to myself today, maybe I will have patience to talk to you, but you are a donkey. And you say things, it's from the middle of nowhere. Every single Muslim knew that, yes, Allah, he did use that. Uh, anyway. Uh, and they quote for you the hadith. And when I say to you, show me the hadith says you, this metaphorical, he said to me, I will show you a verse from the Quran, how Allah he created. Well, Allah in the Quran, you idiot, he says, he created Adam by his hands, literally. But anyway, let us go back to our topic. We thought he would be better. Maybe he took some medicine. Maybe he took some vitamin. But a donkey, you know, as the Chinese say, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. So we asked the Muslims, who is Allah? They tell us Allah is perfect. Who is Allah? Allah is all-knowing. Who is Allah? Allah is big. Who is Allah? Allah is there. This is, what this even have to do with the question? And as you see, the Quran is a very stupid book. It cannot be a book made by God. The first thing you should notice, if Allah is perfect, is he a perfect stupid? I mean, look at the guy is talking. He looks like he's high taking drugs. Don't he look like a person he just get out from a surgery? So Allah is perfect. The second we check the, the, check the Quran, we find that there is no perfection in this Allah. And what does even have to do with that question? The reality of Allah is beyond human comprehension because he is completely perfect and absolutely unique in all of his attributes. Allah created the human being to worship him and him alone as there is nothing worthy of worship except him. He is the originator, the creator, and the sustainer of all that exists. Look at this. This is Allah. Allah is the originator. Allah make uh, furniture. Allah make uh, trees. Allah make uh, sun, the light. Uh, they don't know who's Allah. All of them, they are copy paste of each other. Not a single one knows. Who is this idiot? They call him. They don't even know what Allah means. Not a single Muhammadan knew what the word Allah mean. Why? Because this is a foreign name. The same as they do not know what Israel mean. The same they do not know what Jibreel mean. The same they don't know what Mikael mean. The same they don't know what Ishmael mean. What what Israel? What what Isa mean? What uh, what Abraham mean? They don't know. All those are stolen names, and they don't know. Who is a Muslim? He don't throw things like this Abdul. He can call me and tell me who is Allah. Allah make basal, Allah make potatoes, Allah make onion, Allah make salad, Allah make... Okay. You know, are we talking about a God or a manufacturer? Same time, there's many gods exist in this world and people claim that those gods are the one who made those things. Is that correct? There's a lot of religions. Every religion claims that their god is the one who created the sun and the light. So, but who is Allah? They don't know. What is Islam? 
They say to you submission, which is false. The Quran say clearly is surrender. Surrender to unknown. Because they do not know who is Allah. Same time we heard this idiot Waqas saying, Allah, he ordered the pen to write the Quran. Did you hear him saying that? Okay. So which one is older? The Torah or the Quran? <laughs> Guys, you should, I mean, what is the first thing Allah created? Let us go to the hadith. <laughs> Did Allah write his books in order or like it was messed up? How come Allah, when he decided to write the Torah, he used his hand? But already he have a pen and he command the pen to write. Read with me, brother, read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, this is about the pen of Allah. Allah wrote the, the you know, by the pen. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, let us see. Huh. Read with me carefully. The first thing Allah created was the pen. And the funny is the word qalam is not in Arabic. And the word qalam is something created later, you know. I mean, this has nothing to do. What do you mean the first? Well, the pen. The first pen was created by Allah. This is false. Then it says, he told it to write and ask him <clears throat> and and when he uh, it asked him what should he uh, what should write he told it to write what was decree okay, what is the Quran write what is decree but we will go to Waqas he said that Allah commanded the pen to write the Quran but that means the Quran written before the Torah Maybe after Allah, he wrote the Quran by the pen, the pen dried. And then Allah, he have to use his hand. Or maybe the command is not working. The, the pen, electronic pen, like he was using Google Voice command. And he ordered Google to write and then, you know, it stopped. What we can do. So, who is Allah? You don't know. And why Allah need to write even the decree? You see, we heard the Abdul saying Allah is perfect. So how the perfect God who have a perfect memory need to write the decree? Human being write, I write, if I want to write to you, or maybe God, he write for a, for a human being, because a human being, he have a bad memory. Or a human being, he died. So he, his sons, his children, they will inherit the writing, no problem. But God write to himself, why? Is he going to die next year, and then his kids will read what he wrote? Is that because Allah have a very bad memory, and he will forget what he wrote? This is story alone proving to us that Allah cannot be God and cannot be perfect. Because there is no way He is God and He need to write a diary for His own. Not only that. Allah, He said, <clears throat> according to Muhammad, that when Allah, He wrote, that, uh, he wrote uh, this tablet, he, he, uh, His decree, He wrote it in tablet, uh, and he put the tablet between the two eyes of the angel Israfil. Why? Because Allah don't want the angels to read it. And same time, he don't want anyone to steal the information. 
Look at this drama. He ordered the pen to write everything. And then, after the pen wrote everything in the tablet, Allah, he put the tablet between the, for, the, the eyebrows and the forehead of Israfil. Let me see if I can find the story of Israfil in this website. So we can laugh more. <clears throat> Let us see. You will notice that all those names Muhammad he learned from from the Jews. Let me see. We cannot find it here, but we can find it in Arabic. Uh, let us see where, where, where. I have I have a long list of all those hadith. All of them they are speaking the same story, uh, but I'm trying to find it in English. Let us see. Uh, let us see in English. Here we go. Between the two eyes of the angel, I found in English. And this is the same website Waqas he gave me in the other day. So he cannot deny it. See why you are stupid? Here we go. Can you say now I don't accept this website? People will laugh at you. Here we go. So Allah, he commanded the pen to write the tablet, and then he put the tablet between the two eyes of Israfil. Why? Because first, Israfil is not trustworthy. He is a person, he's a bad boy. He might spy. So. By doing that, Allah, he got rid of Israfil because now Israfil can't see it. Imagine somebody wrote something in your forehead. Can you read it? No. Can you look at it? Impossible. So Allah, he knew that Israfil is a very bad boy and he will try to read it. So he put it there. Number two, Israfil is so powerful. So now nobody can get closer to read the tablet. But the tablet is so big. The size of the tablet is the same distance between the earth and the heaven, and that is the size between the two eyebrows of the angel Jibreel. So now the perfect Allah, and the Muslims who say he is a perfect, he wrote a tablet, in it, and there he put all his commands, and he now, he have his worry about guarding the tablet, because he don't want anyone to read it. But here you ask yourself, if Allah is the perfect God, do he need even all the security? Don't he say B is going to be? 
Allah command the shaitan to go down to earth. So who is going to spy and take the information from the tablet? And why he have a tablet? I want to ask all the Muhammadan here, who can answer us in the comment, if you don't mind, why Allah needed a tablet? I'm waiting for your answer. Look how many Abdul we have in the chat. Who is Abdul is smart enough to tell us why Allah needed a tablet? What do you think? Hmm? Anyone? Any Muhammad? Do you think even the Muslims dare to answer such a question? Until now, I don't see any answer. Look at them, how they excited they are, but they don't have an answer. Why Allah need to write his decree or his commands in table, a tablet? I'm waiting for the answer. Are you searching Google? Are you contacting your sheikh? Hmm? What do you think? Salahuddin, the Kurdish boy, Salahuddin, he is worried about the book of Revelation. And now Salahuddin, he thinks that this is about adultery. Because Salahuddin is a Kurdish, he does not know how to read English. <laughs> the one who was raping women, the Arab women. <laughs> they are worried about Revelation now. <laughs> hey Salahuddin, instead of worrying about Revelation, this is not our topic for now. And none of what you are saying there is what is meant. But you are a donkey like your prophet. Can you tell us why Allah need a tablet? Who is a Muslim can tell us why Allah need a tablet? Hmm? Okay, okay, Salah al well, You are busy with different topic. When you come back with uh, our topic, you let us know. Any Muhammadan? They will pause for you everything except the topic. Hmm. Any Muhammadan? What do you think? Can you believe it? Not a single one of them there to answer. Why Allah, if he is God, he need a tablet? Is that because of his perfection or because he have a defect? If I am God and I have a perfect memory, why I need to write a tablet for me, not for you? This is for Allah. Anyone? Abu Zubaydah, I'm afraid of. Wait, why you don't text me, Abu Zubaydah, in Skype? Text me. What's your name? I don't see anyone in Skype. His name is Abu Zubaydah. And why are you are Abu Zubaydah? Zubaydah is a girl. Is that like normal in for Muslim men? They call themselves Abu Zubaydah. Why you published the door, your daughter's name everywhere? I thought it's haram. So text me, text me, Abu Zubaydah. Text me, let us see. Text me in Skype, I will call you. Hmm? Abu Zubaydah. And until you text me in Skype, what about you tell us here in the text first? Why Allah have need a tablet? Now everybody in town, he knew that you have a daughter, her name is Zubaydah. Are you looking for a husband or something? 
You know, you remind me of the Pakistani guy who was sent to Pakistan, sorry, to, uh, to Saudi Arabia, the ambassador. And then the Saudi government, they refused him because of his name. Anyone remember what was his name? The biggest penis. I'm not joking. Those Muslims, they give themselves names. They don't know what their name, the Arabic names, you know. Uh, let me search for it. Saudi Arabia refuse Pakistani ambassador due to his name. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> I found it. <laughs> <laughs> what hold on hold on what his name is what's wrong with this website let's keep jumping uh pakistani ambassador rejected because of his name what his name read in arabic read in arabic anyone who speak arabic he knew what i'm talking about akbar zib <laughs> Update, update news. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so let us go back to our <laughs> By the way, this is the same story for Zach and Naik. The last name of Naik, Naik means the F word, literally. Like physically doing it now, you know, like now. You know, this is what Naik means. Ask any Arab. Anyway, it might be have a different meaning in his in his language. So now, who is the Muhammad who tell us why Allah have a tablet? Remember that Abdul, he mentioned that Allah is perfect. But how oh, he is perfect? <laughs> so he is perfect, and he need a tablet. Why? Is that, is that because of perfection or because of defection? You know, we human, we have a defect in memory. Yes, we forget. We have a defect. Our memory is not perfect. So we need to write numbers, we write to write names, we need to write uh, 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 dates, uh, anything, you know. The only thing we don't write is something we use every day, like the name of your son, the name of your mother, you know. You know? Those you do not need because you keep repeating them, so you don't forget them. But even those, by time, when you get very old, you even you forget this, the name of yourself. But why Allah, who is eternal, supposedly? He need to write to himself a tablet. Any Muhammad? Isn't it this is a stupid statement to say that Allah he wrote for himself a tablet? For himself. And the first thing Allah created is a pen. And he ordered a pen to write. I mean, can't his decree happen without a pen? What do you think? People, can't the decree of Allah occur without the pen and the tablet and writing in the decree can't allah make the decree in his mind by the way this is a different problem do allah even have a mind just to show you how stupid islam is hey muslims who would they are to say allah have a mind wait for the answer they will not dare to answer muhammadan do Allah have a mind? Not even in a thousand years from now they will say yes. They don't dare. Because is able to write it down. Oh, 
Anis Abu Zubaydah, he gave us an answer. <laughs> Abu Zubaydah, is that your answer or the answer of Zubaydah? What this? What the heck is that, man? You hey guys, Allah, he wrote the tablet because Allah, he is able to write it down. <laughs> Abdul, why he wrote it down? What do you mean he's able? I mean, guys, do you see the intelligence? So Abu Zubaydah, he decided to answer us finally. Why Allah, he wrote the tablet? A Christian print. Because Allah, he is able to write it down. Look, what the heck is that? Are you serious? Allah was able to write it down, and that's why he wrote it down. <laughs> you know, I thought about many. Uh, answers, but I never thought that you will give me such a thing. This is headache, man. I, what, I, I that this is above my expectation. The leader not answer me. Why Allah he wrote it down? Why? What? What is the need? What is the purpose? He write it down. He write it up. No problem. But why Allah he wrote it? <laughs> what is the need? Is he having defect in memory? As long as nobody can read it, only him. What for this tablet is? Hmm? If there's anyone can help Abu Zubaydah? And I added a question, I said, do Allah have a mind? So by the way, in Muslim, if I... If, uh, if a Muslim he asks such a question about Allah have a mind, the Muslims will go crazy. What are you talking about, man? You cannot say that about Allah. So do Allah think? Isn't even there to say Allah think or not? Okay, uh, Allah don't think. Do he think or he don't? They don't dare to say yes or no. They say Allah knows best. Okay, do Allah have mind? Uh, we do not know. Okay, so what do you know? What do you know about this so-called lah? Abu Zubaydah, is that your final answer? Allah, he wrote the tablet because he is able to write it down. That's it? The end of the auction? Who is a Muhammadan would like to help Abu Zubaydah? I don't know. I'm not convinced with this answer. So Allah, he sat down because he is able to sit down, not because he is tired. Allah, he breathed because he is able to breathe, not because he breathed. And Allah, he wrote a tablet because he, uh, that's so good. Because Allah wanted to show us how powerful is. Hold on, this is a new one. I cannot believe it. Guys, this is the answer we are looking for. We got that from Google. Let us close this one and we go to the other one. Thank you, Abu Zubaydah. Thank you, my friend. I mean, that's amazing. Hey, Abu Zubaydah, from now on, you are an admin in my the chat. Uh, when I am not live on air, okay, Kabich, as a reward for you guys, look at this. Because Allah wanted to show us how powerful He is, only a God can write such a big tablet. That's man, it's so big, man. <laughs> Do you see why Islam is made for those who they are taking drugs non-stop? <laughs> Dual focus with me. <laughs> you write things because you have a short memory. We don't care if it's big or small. Oh, hold on. Maybe Allah wrote it big because his eyes vision is not good, so he need to read. <laughs> Like when people, they get older, 
they have a problem with reading small text. Is that the scenario? <laughs> So going back to Allah is perfect. Okay, Allah is perfect, but we find out that Allah can't be perfect. I mean, the sperm coming from the backbone of the of the man, uh, women have a sperm coming from their ribs. The sun set in murky water. The sun set in place. Uh, Allah come down every third part of the night, which means the earth is a flat. Allah made the earth as a carpet. The earth have edges. Anyway, continue. Maybe we can learn something from it. who's Allah. So to worship other than him is the worst of all actions. The first... If, 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 hold on. If you worship other than him is the worst of action. Why Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam? Hmm. Allah can do whatever he want. Don't make a big thing out of it. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, a future millionaire. I can tell, obviously, you are already bankrupt. <laughs> All right. You know, having a name in the internet that you are a future and a millionaire, proving to me that you are don't have money for now, at least, right? But look what happened, my friend, future millionaire. If somebody says to me, because he can do whatever he wants, well, this is just to avoid the question, and obviously you have no answer. But who said that Allah can do whatever he wants? Can Allah have a son? I will go with you. The Quran say no. The Quran says, how can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? So who is the question who who is the one who question his ability? Allah Himself. Can he have a son? Allah in the Quran said no. Allah in the Quran said, How can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Which means he is not all mighty, not all capable not all able so to claim that he is able to do things that is something proven to be false from the Quran here we find Allah saying how can he have a son if you don't have a girlfriend oh I'm typing in English sorry Let us see how Allah can have a son. Can he have a son? Remember this Abdul in the video, he says, he is the originator of the heaven and the earth. Okay, but the originator of the heaven and the earth, he cannot originate a son without having a wife. He is a man like us. It's in front of you. Who is the one using can? The question, how can he? Is that the Christian saying that? No. Is that the Jews? No. How can he have a children when he has no girlfriend? The question is coming from Allah Himself. Someone saying that he or she will joke about any religion except Islam. Is that because you are a potato coward? Why you want to joke about any religion except Islam? Why? Because you are a potato? Well, I joke about all religion and the top is Islam. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Allah is not all knowing. He do not know that he can really have a son without having a girlfriend if he have the power like the power of the God of Mary. The God of Mary, he can give Mary 
a son, he can give himself a son, yet he have no sex and he do not need a wife. That's our God. Your God cannot do that. Any Muhammadan? I'm waiting. The guys, look at this guy. You are the guy? Oh, you are the guy. Yes, I am the guy. And you, Sheikh Uthman, the ketchup boy, do he dare to give me his Skype to call him right now? <laughs> guys, look at this. Like the Muslims. You, you are the guy? Is the guy? Yeah, I am the guy. Oh, your God don't dare to show here. And none of you. So, like your Sheikh Uthman don't even know how to read the Quran. He did go and search how many videos Muslim made making fun of his reading. I mean, how does guy claim he have a master in the Hadith, and he is a Sheikh, but he cannot read one sentence in the Quran? Abdullah Awan. Oh, just saw your video. You are the guy who kept trying to interrupt Sheikh Uthman. You, st you still lost the debate, by the way. Interrupt Sheikh Uthman? Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I love the Chinese when he said, they said he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. I'm not sure we're talking about who. Maybe Muhammad. Let us move this to trash. Too many screenshots on my screen. <laughs> It doesn't fit for anything anymore. Do we have any Muhammad and can't tell us? <clears throat> then how Allah can be perfect, yet the perfect Allah cannot have a perfect son without having a perfect wife, a perfect female. Any Muhammadan? Why? He cannot have a son without having a wife. Anyone? Who created the pen for Allah? Allah created the pen. Yeah, Allah, He created the pen. Any Muhammadan? So, you know, actually, if you read this verse, what does that mean? That means Allah is a male, right? Okay, if we ask the Muhammadan now, what is the gender of Allah? What do you think they will say? They will not dare to answer. Muslims, be, be my witness. What is the gender of Allah? They will not dare to answer. Okay, Muslims, say yes or no. Is he male? If he is male, give me one. If he is a female, he is give me two. If he is a nun, give me three. Which means he is no male, no female. Give me three. I mean, that's easy. If he's a male, give me one. If he's a female, give me two. If he had no gender, give me three. I'm waiting. So what do those people know about the religion? Muhammadan. If Allah is male, give me one. If Allah is a female, give me two. If he have no gender, give me three. <coughs> Only Muslims, guys. Only Muslims. I don't want no Muslims. Only Muslims, please. <coughs> Only Muslims. <coughs> Sorry. He have no gender. But that would be a problem because the Quran says, how can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Correct? That is a bad answer. What the what the Quran implying? It, it the Quran saying he. Do you see it? How many times it says he? It doesn't say the originator. It says he. Like if he said the originator without saying he, there is no gender. And not only that, he. Supported by saying, how can he have a son, yet he has no wife? So, we have he, 
and he need a wife in order to have a son. So what he is? He's a male. Any Muhammadan? If you say to me that Allah is the all perfect, he used the word he because it's not fit for him to be called she, and he need a word that means Allah could not provide the perfect description of himself. Are you with me? <clears throat> Can't Allah produce a Quran and he can explain himself without using the word he? Uh, here we go, future millionaire, he is being smart. He is saying the God of the Bible is a man. Thank you very much. But we Christian, we believe in that. What the problem? <laughs> future millionaire, obviously you are buying the wrong stocks, my friend. So guys, listen. Uh, the, the God of the Bible, you Bible Christians, you know, says he, <laughs> because the Christian believe that he's, he's the God is a man. <laughs> Abdul, all the news. You never heard of someone, his name is Jesus. So Jesus is a man. So yeah, he. Isn't the Bible says that God created Adam in his image? Uh, he. We have no problem. But it's you Muslims. You go in the in the limbo, the second we say is Allah is a man. It's you who get dizzy. Hmm? So you do not solve it. The Christian they call their God He, their God, He is He you know, He humbled himself and He took the image of a man. Wonderful. He came as a perfect man. Wonderful. Is Allah a man or not? So your God has testicles. Okay, are you saying to me that your God, Allah, he called himself he, and he is seeking a wife, but yet he don't have testicles? Hey, <laughs> uh, Abdul. So when Allah in the Quran says, Allah, he sent down the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit appeared to Mary as a perfect man, how in the word Holy Spirit and yet has testicles? <laughs> I'm using your logic. <laughs> so, the God of the Christians have testicles, the God of Islam does not have testicles. <laughs> what else? <laughs> but yet he is he. So, here we understand that Allah cannot be he. He must be she, because you just said your God does not have testicles. <laughs> it's not me who said, it's you. I have all witnessing. Allah does not have testicles. You, you supposed to be making fun of our God. So our God have testicles, your God does not have testicles. <laughs> what? So why you, go change the Quran, call, it, call, her, call, call her she. Your God has no balls? What the heck? Balls, ballsless? I don't know what kind of English this English is. Ballsless? Your God is ballsless. Oh boy. So what this is drama about? How can he... So you see, we should change the verse. We should say, How can he have a son if he have no balls? <laughs> That will make it perfect. All right, guys. From now on, this verse does not mean what it says. Allah, He wanted to say, "How can He, as a son, yet He has no balls?" Ah, now we are talking. Thank you, billionaire. So the one who wrote the verse obviously is corrupting the Quran. The Quran never says Allah has no, you know, how can he have a son without a wife? No. He wanted to say, how can he have a son yet he have no balls? Because all of us, we knew that the balls will play a big role in making the semen. So now we understand the situation. Allah has no balls. 
Any of you Muslims have balls to call me and tell me, explain to me why Allah has no balls? And if you have no balls, so what's the point of this verse? You should change it. Huh? Who of you have a balls not like Allah to call me? I feel sorry for you, Muslim. So you call him all this time, he, and he is not even having balls? He does not? Ballsless? Is that coming from the word Bozaline? Running <laughs> Muhammadan? Guys, do you like this time? Is this time is good? Is this time is good or is too early? And please show respect to the boys of Allah. The Muslim they will burn cities for the boys of Allah. Don't insult his balls. Just hit him there. Oh, you cannot hit his balls. He'd have no balls. You know? Like once a Muslim, he supposedly want to expose a Christianity. He said that in the Bible, in the Old Testament, it says if a woman, she holds the balls of a man, we cut her hand. Man. I said to him, so in Islam, if your wife, she holds my balls, it's okay. <laughs> What a silly <laughs> Muslim women they wear hijab, but there's no punishment for a Muslim woman to play with the man balls. In Judaism, if a woman she 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 holds the balls of a strange man, they cut her head. Uh, <coughs> Abdul, you are texting the wrong sp uh, Skype, Abu Zubaydah. Wrong Skype. You know my Skype is on. I don't see you. Do we have any Muhammadan here would like to join us? He has balls, not like his God, balls less. Now, billionaire, maybe he think he should not mention this, you know, but it's too late, it's recorded. Now everybody knows, thank you for mentioning. You know, you know what, we spoke many times about Allah, we never mentioned that Allah have no balls, but it's true. Ask any Muslim, is he a male? They will say no. Okay, is he a female? He will say no. What he is? Why you call him he then? Same time, if he is not a male, neither a female, he should not say this verse. He should say, How can I have a son if I don't have sex? I don't have gender. If I'm not a human? If I'm not a man? That would make sense. But look what he says. How can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? What is my Skype? Okay, let me pause for you, my sky. Just for you, Abu Zubaida. For the sake of Zubaida. Peace be upon her. <clears throat> All right, here we go. This is my Skype. I think the Skype in the info is the same. Here, right? Hmm. Text me. Tell me I am Abu Zubaida. So Allah is a perfect God, but Allah, he cannot have a perfect ability to have a son because he has no balls, he has no wife. Hmm. He is the originator of the earth of the heaven, but he cannot originate a son without having a wife. Hmm. Interesting. God of the Christians, he can have a son without having a girlfriend. He can have a son without having a wife. He can have a son without having sex. God of Islam, he have no balls, and the Muslims are our witnesses for that. What else, Muhammadan, can he give us from your treasure? Hmm? Anyone? Let me see if Abu Zubaydah texted me. I don't see still anything from Abu Zubaydah. Nothing. Uh, 
I am a Christian. No, I did not say Christians. I said Muslims. We don't want Christians to call us now. Please, Muslims only. <coughs> Abu Zubaida, are you there? Okay, well, Abu Zubaida, obviously, he have no balls to call me. Let's go back to the video. Maybe he can tell us something we do not know about Allah. Shall we? Let us see. The video is getting interesting. Look, the guy is in drugs. You can tell he is high. Tell us more, tell us more. The first human Allah created was Adam, and from Adam Allah created his wife, and from them both he's created many men and women that have filled the earth to this day. <laughs> That's it. The whole story. That's Allah. He created Adam, and then created Eve, and then, hold on, hold on. What do you mean he created from them as many? Let us go to the hadith. According to the stupid Muhammad, when Adam had sex with Eve, he do not know how to do it. So always Eve, she lose her baby. Why? Because Adam, he don't stop having sex with her even when she carry a baby in her womb. Like the guy, he is horny. Like, do, 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 do. Yes, Adam, you know, I have a baby. So Eve, uh, each time she gave, uh, she 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 carry a, a child, uh, he died. Then Shaitan he told her, "Listen, listen. Your God cannot save your children. If you see, if you name your son, the slave of Shaitan, Abdul Harith, he will live." Let us see if we can find the hadith. Adam, <clears throat> imagine guys, Adam. Uh, his first son, his name is the slave of shaitan. <laughs> Let us see. Which means all the stories Muslims they have is false about Adam and Eve. Let us see if we can find this one here. Here we go. The Prophet of Allah said, when Hawa, which means Eve, be, uh, uh, become a bright net, Iblis, which means Shaitan, the first Shaitan, came to her and her children would not live after birth. So he said, No, I am him, Abdul Harith. Abdul Harith means, Abid means slave, black slave, and Harith, Shaitan, one of the names of Shaitan. Name him Abdul Harith, so she named him and he lived. What the heck? So, the story Muslim they have about Cain and Abel is false because the first son of Adam who lived it was the slave of Shaitan. Which, in a point of view, hmm? uh, guys. Uh, 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 Abu Zubaydah, he texted me. Look, Abu Zubaydah, what? what? <laughs> uh, Abu Zubaydah, I mean, your, your daughter, uh, now I know your daughter's name, but I will not insult your daughter. Listen, why you are insulting my mother? Maybe she is not alive. Maybe she is a very old woman. Do you want to insult your mother? Is that what you want? Okay, your mother is a whore. Are you happy now? <laughs> you asked me for it. <laughs> but by the way, a Muslim whore, she is a good whore 
for Allah. She will go to heaven. In the Quran, Allah, he forgive all sin except to associate with him. So your mother, she is a whore. She is a truck whore. She is the bike of the town. She is going to the heaven of Allah. Now what she would do in the heaven of Allah? Boom, boom. Unbelievable. As a canaic. A woman, she as a canaic. How come Muslim man, he would have 72 women? What about women? He said to her. Allah in the Quran, he said that. With the whore. The, 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 whore in the plural word. Whore means women and the men. So Allah Allah will send you 72 men. <laughs> so your sister, she will be effed by 72 men in heaven. And your wife too. You will be watching. Do you enjoy watching your wife being F by 72 men? Hemp? Anyway. I mean, imagine how filthy, stupid this cult is. He said to the women, you will get F by 72 men. And all the Muslims are happy. <laughs> A religion of pimps. 72 men, you will F your mama? What about 71? What if she cannot, I mean, what if she cannot handle 71? I mean, 72, right? I mean, 70, by the way, this is the lowest reward. Huh? And like, brother, the top. Get some privacy, I mean, you know, the Muslim, like, wow, look, this is smart. Look, look at the answer. The answer is so good. It's amazing. The Quran, you can look, what the heck? Is Zakir Naik, is he really born from natural? birth i mean <laughs> is he really from this earth or is an alien <laughs> i don't know i heard that fertilizer is is not working in his beard your beard is way better than zakir naik i mean give him some man it's not even fair do we have any muhammadan so Hawa, so who is the first son of adam so now all the children of Adam, they are the children of a man, his name, the slave of Shaitan. And Allah could not make Adam have children. Shaitan, he was able. It's in the front of you. You know, once, uh, once a Muslim, he called me. And I said, I showed him this hadith. He said it to me, Christian Prince. Uh, first of all, it doesn't say he's son of Satan. It says Abdul Harith. I said, Abdul, listen. Harith is Shaitan. He said, because the prince. Shaitan, his name is Satan. His name, not tell me it's not Abdul Harith. Abdul, listen. Okay, what about you go and ask some sheikh? They will tell you that this is the name of Shaitan. This is another name. Christian prince, you are a stupid donkey. Uh, I, I am a sheikh. I'm a sheikh. I said, Abdul, you are a sheikh? Are you sure? Yes, I'm a sheikh. I mean, the guy who opened his camera for a second. And yeah, he have a long beard. He turned it off right away. And then, well, he's a sheikh. I said, okay, so you do not know that Al Abdul Harith means the slave of shaitan? He said, Christian Prince, I swear by Allah, you are a liar. I said, Abdul, listen. It's in front of you, it says. Who is the one who asked her to name him Abdul Harith? He said, Iblis. Okay. Why Iblis ask her to name him Abdul Harith? Abdul, he start thinking now. Tuk, 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 the clock is going. He said, are you there? He said, uh, he uh, told her to name him uh, Abdul Harith, yeah. Okay, what, what, why? Why he chose that she should name him that name, and if she named him that name, the son will survive. Why? The sheikh, he is thinking, I said, I don't know, so are you, are you a sheikh? You should know. And then he said, okay, uh, hold on, hold on. I will be back to you. And he left and he never come back since then. And by the way, this remind me, once it was, I think, Christmas time, I was debating a Muslim and he apologized. He needed to go to the bathroom and he's a sheikh. Guys, that was like 20 years ago. And then now he never come back. So the perfect Allah, he could not save the children of Eve and Adam. But Satan 
was able to make him live because Eve and Adam called him the slave of Shaitan. So the father of Muhammad, his name is slave of Shaitan. Yeah, this is the first man, the first son of Adam. She named all her children slaves of Shaitan so they can live. In fact, you see all those Arab when they name their children with with the with animal names. As an example, Osama. Osama mean lion. Why they call why they use that name? Because those Arab they love and they live in superstition religion. They believe if they call their son a name of a, of an animal, he live. Especially if the animal eat meat. That's why the grandfather of Muhammad, his name is Kilab, which means dogs. The last name of Muhammad is dogs. The wife of Muhammad, the one she was married to his son, her name is Zainab bin Tujahsh. Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. You will find a lot of names in Arabic all of them connected to animals because they, they believe that if they uh, name them animal names, shaitan will not kill them. And those names connected to shaitan anyway. That's why he don't kill them. Because they are evil animals, like they do bad stuff. Any Muhammadan? So what we learn today, Allah has no balls. Eh, we are so glad for that. I see video. Do you where I can do Bible study online? Do you know where you can do Bible study? My friend asked this question here. There's many channels you can join them. I'm not here to teach you the Bible, my friend. I'm here to get Muhammad and Islam busted. Do we have any Muhammadan? So Allah has no balls, Muslims has no balls, Jibreel has no balls. The only one have balls is Aisha. You know, even the Quran, by the way, make fun of Muhammad because he has no balls. If you go in the Quran, there's a chapter at the end of the Quran speaking about Muhammad, he cannot make babies. And supposedly, uh, this man in the chapter uh, Al Kawthar, he said to Muhammad, You are cut off. Cut off from what? The Muslim cut off is he cut off from offspring? No. Abtar. Abtar means he don't have a penis. He don't have a penis. It means at the end, yes, he don't have children but it says you are cut off and look what the Muslim they do they add between the uh, bracket from every good thing in this world what a good thing this is about his penis Aptar. you change the translator <clears throat> let us see uh, big tal see we just change the translator He is cut off. He didn't have a penis. Uh, even Muhammad in the hadith, he said, he was the most weak person between all mankind. And then he invoked Allah, and then Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, and he got the, uh, the power of 40 men in Ifim. And that's why in the Middle East, all of us Arab, we eat shish kebab non-stop, in the morning, day, no, no time, at night. Still, they have to buy Viagra because nothing is working. Yeah, number number one in the world who buy Viagras is Muslim countries, especially Middle East too. <clears throat> the one who says to you, "You are cut off," he is cut off. Okay, I mean, look at this Quran. This is Quran from God. God saying that the one he is saying to you, "You are cut off," he is cut off. And it's like. My grand-grandma speaking to the other grand-grandma 
who they are like a hundred ten years old, go Sabine fighting about the neighbor. You are cut off, no you are cut off. No you are cut off. May Allah cut you off. Hmm. As it must be from God. This is how true God speak. Look at this chapter. Look at this. Who can make a chapter like this? By the way, don't forget to watch the video I made today. I made two in the last two days. Go watch them. Otherwise, I swear by the shin of Allah, I will cut off every one of you. Ah, I know this will threat me nothing to women. <laughs> oh boy. Listen, men. If you don't watch my previous videos, I will cut you off. Literally. Okay? Yeah, yeah, go, go right now. <clears throat> Abdul, was Muhammad cut off? He didn't have kids. Muhammad, he could not have one child. All the stories about Muhammad having children, it's false. Listen, how many wives Muhammad he had? According to Muslims, 13. How many leave girls sleeping with? Nobody knows. I have a list of more than 70 something slaves he owned. But how many slaves he slept with, we do not know. Not a single child he had. You see, if Muhammad can have kids, he, every woman he sleep with, she should produce. I mean, if the, if the woman is fine, especially many of those, actually all those women, they used to have a husband and they have kids. The only children Muhammad he have is from Khadija, which is not his own. He is the stepfather. Islam CP is only trying to see Islam error. That's all. That's what I'm trying to see. Huh? How is that? I'm trying. Oh, okay, right, Adam, Thank you. I don't know why your your text is hidden. I wanted guys. Christian Prince is trying to see Islam error. That's all. That's deep. Tim, my friend, I will make you an admin in the in the in the in the chat of. Uh, Zach and I. That's it. From now on, you are an admin there, brother. This is what Christian Prince trying? I do not need to try. It take me one second to find it. It's in front of you. There's no way God will do this. The one who says to you, are cut off, he's cut off. Can't this God do something about it? He should refute him and he give Muhammad 10,000 kids. All right, guys? The easiest refutation for this claim is to make Muhammad have tens of babies every every few weeks. Muhammad, he have many wives. The guy he have thirteen wives, so every nine month he should have thirteen babies. You do not need a drama. Just to flood him with babies. Hold on, isn't it the hadith says that when a man he came to Imam Jafar and he asked him, he said, "My wife she don't give babies, boys." She give only girls. The Imam, he said, you, when you have boom boom with your wife, you come to her from her back. You put your hand around her waist and you push so hard and then when you push it, excuse me, you spank her ass and you scream, Ya Ali. And you do that seven times. Remember, seven times. The Abdul went home. He made his wife bend over. He start his business. Each time he push it in, he spank her and he screams so loud, Ya Ali! He did that seven times and he stopped. And brother, do you believe it or not? His wife, she gave him seven boys. Seven boys. Just say Ya Ali. As simple as that. You don't even need to have orgasm. The guy did not have orgasm. He just push it seven times and he stop. <laughs> Do you need orgasm? No. Just push it there, spank her, and by the way, you have to make it so loud, like Ya Ali, boom, Ya Ali, seven times. You do it eight, 
Oh boy, big mistake. You do it six, blank shooting. You have to be careful. Seven time, and the wife have to be spanked so hard, like your finger will leave mark. <laughs> hey boys, don't do that. Okay, I'm joking. This is stupid, Muhammad. Don't do those stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> That's stupid garbage religion. Yeah, Ali, huh? Oh boy. And the funny is, Ali have only two sons. Like Ali himself, he could not have seven boys. Isn't it funny that the one who will make you have boys, he himself could not have them. <laughs> Ali himself, he have two boys only. So if we scream, yeah, Ali, and we spank the wife, and they will have seven boys, then how come Ali could not have it? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> What a dirty, stupid religion. Do you see why I don't speak about the Bible here? I mean, we cannot, we cannot mix this with this. This is a messed up cult. Uh, and now I know why the Muslims are not here. They are, they are spanking their wives and screaming for Ali. And Ali never come. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan want to tell us who is Allah beside Ali spanking story? So Allah don't have bows. Allah cannot have sons. Allah cannot do it because he don't have a wife and he don't have bows. <laughs> what a messed up God. What else? What else about Allah? There's something special about him. Maybe, hold on, maybe we miss it. Let us see what this guy, look at this guy. I mean, this guy is taking hashish, no question. Look at this. I mean, and the beard, look, the hair of the beard, every single hair going in different direction. I mean, this GPS is made in China. Look at this GPS. Beard in the east, like one hair here. I mean, yeah, well, they don't wrong what we can do. They are not going good. Okay, go, go. What else? Day. But Allah did not leave the human being without guidance. Mm -hmm. Rather, throughout time, He's communicated with us through did not leave us without guidance, Allah, he did not. Okay, oh, what happened? Special people we know as prophets and messengers. But isn't it Allah, he said, he is the one who mislead us? So what do you mean he did not leave us without guidance? <laughs> listen, listen. In the Quran, Allah, he said, that Allah, you offer Islam to the heaven and to the earth. Hmm? And the mountains and etc. But they refuse. They don't trust Allah. The man he accepted the trust of Allah and he was an idiot. Read it. Chapter 33, verse number 72. Lu, what the heck? In the, in Arabic we have Lu. Since when? I mean, Muslim, how how you Muslim translate? إِذَا أَرَضْنَا Like, what the heck is that? Lu? Lu, 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 Inna. This is here, it says Inna. It became Lu. We offered, what Lu? You are adding word to the Quran? May Allah Lu, Lu, you. So, we offered the trust into the heaven and the earth. And the hills. But they shank from bearing it. Uh -huh. And the man accepted and he was a fool. Hold on, hold on. So Allah, he offered his trust to the mountain and the earth and the hills. And they refused. And the man, he accepted the trust of Allah. And he was a fool. Okay, where Muslims can find how man accepted the trust of Allah. Like did Allah created Adam and he start explaining to him that he is God 
and you know he Adam can I trust you now you convert to Islam Adam and Adam he can well I mean the guy he have no choice he created him he says live in the garden did he even give him a class in his religion did he give him a Quran and why the man he was a foolish why because he trusted Allah What the hadith says? La amanu makrullah. I don't feel safe from the deception of Allah. Who said that? Muslims, who said that? Muhammad says that. And the Quran says that. The only one who trusts or feels safe from the deception of Allah is the stupid ones. Is that right? Absolutely. That's what the Quran is saying. Chapter 7, verse number 99. Do they feel secure against Allah? Division? Division? What is that? Deception. Makar in Arabic means deception. None feel secure from Allah deception but those who they are stupid losers which means the true smart one is the one who don't feel secure dealing with Allah the one who feels secure is the loser secure from what from the deception of Allah and those are the Muslims, because we Christians, we don't trust Allah anyway. Who is the one who trusts Allah? The Muslims. It's in the front of you. And you will see how the Muhammadan try their best to, uh, to change the meaning by using different words. But in Arabic it says Makara. Makar, Makar mean the one who deceive and the one who lie and the one who cheat and the one who fool simply it's a scam the one who scam you the one who make you believe in something not a true like in arabic we say a thalab al makar thalab is the fox makar is the deceiver if you don't believe me ask any muslim who speak arabic This is the title of the Thalab, which is the fox. He is the deceiver. And actually, me myself, I experience how a smart fox is. You know, like when you you are a kid, you you know, you see stories in the book about the the, the, the fox, how smart he is. But it's true. You know, once I was hunting, and then when we went, we went to grab that the, the the fox. He he lay down. He lay down dead. He, he he is a perfect actor, unbelievable, you know. He played dead until we get so close to him and now we cannot shoot. He took us in surprise. Suddenly he's, he jumped and he ran. Perfect, and there is not even a single drop of blood on him. Like we thought maybe he is injured, he got, like he, maybe he fainted or something, and now he woke up. No, not a single drop of blood. Smart. But... That is a fox, an animal he deceived to eat, to live, to survive. Allah he deceived for what reason? So the Quran says, only stupid ones is the one who feels secure from Allah. 